Sergio, great to speak to you. Now, did you know that you have exactly the same birthday as Rubens Barrichello? I, 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 23rd of May. I think someone already told me that a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're a Gemini, which means you're a good bloke. And obviously you've got longevity in your genes as well, because he's got obviously the most starts in Formula One history. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I have that on my, on my gene too. Yes. Yeah. Now look, many congratulations. You are joining McLaren as test and development driver. How does that feel? It feels uh, really amazing. It's a great opportunity. Um, it, it allows me uh, to do two things at the same time, but one doesn't uh, interfere the other. I can focus on my F2 season, uh, and fight for the championship, which is what I want to do next year. And at the same time, I can learn everything about the, well, not everything, but a lot about uh, how the F1 world works. And that includes uh, how to test and uh, develop a car. Of course, I'll be focusing more on the simulator work, um, but I will also be coming to, to some weekends and uh, I will see just how this, this, uh, this thing works because it's, it's a lot more people in an F1 yeah. team and in an F1 paddock and it's a different mechanism. Now you're, you're going to be continuing a long line of Brazilian racing drivers and McLaren of course. Uh, we go back to Emerson Fittipaldi, 1974 world champion in a McLaren and of course then the great Ayrton Senna won all three of his championships in a McLaren as well. Um, just continuing that legacy, what does that mean to you? Well, it's, 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 <laughs> it's a bit of uh, a, a lot of responsibility to say um, continuing that legacy. I think they, they uh, you know, they, each one has uh, their, their, their own legacy, uh, not only with, with McLaren, but with, with F1. They are great drivers. They are known worldwide. And uh, of course, you know, it, it relates a lot more to, to McLaren. And a lot of people are telling me, now that I joined the team, oh, you are uh, continuing the legacy. But I, I really like to, to, at the same time, show my respect and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and uh, proud pride uh, towards them as, as a Brazilian driver as well. But I, but I like to write my, 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 my own story in the sport, uh, separate of, uh, of, of what they've done. Because what they've done, is, it's, it's so big. I, 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 I still have a lot to do before I can compare myself or, or something like that. Now, you're going to dovetail your duties for McLaren uh, with a season of Formula 2. How important is it for you to stay race sharp whilst doing your jobs with McLaren? Uh, it's extremely important. It's the most important thing. And uh, actually, uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how much, uh, how tiring it, it will be, uh, the work with McLaren, but I'll be uh, one of the things uh, we plan on doing is having extremely good communication and me saying, look, I think I, have, I, I can do more work and be driving more the simulator or a bit less and I need more, more time to, 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 to dedicate to my F2 campaign. But I, I will try to manage that the best way I can. But right now, it, haven't, it hasn't even started yet, but I, I have the feeling it would actually be helping, helping me a lot in the F2 because uh, it's more driving time, you know, in a, in a great simulator. Uh, and, and that's something I don't do a lot this season because there's a cost involved in everything in this sport and this year I, I lacked a lot of driving. So uh, it's, a, it's a good thing for next season. And looking at you know, the, the highs, you're going to get to live in Woking? Yes, uh, actually I'll be part-time uh, living there. Uh, I will be spending a lot of time there but my base, main base will still be a city nearby Barcelona oh. where I've been for the next last five years. And it's, it's something which I consider a bit delicate I'm uh, living away from home for five years now, so um, you know it's it's very easy to find a place where you don't adapt very well, uh, and and then you, especially with the weather over there and everything. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking it step by step, even on that. Uh, I, I don't want to change. It's a very important year for me next year. I don't want to change the the, the place I live. So I'm going to be part time in walking, working very hard, and then go back to to the sun. So you got to go easy on the weather in the UK. It's not actually any better here in Sao Paulo. Well, uh, Sao Paulo is, is uh, like a different country. You know, it's, it's called, uh, what is it when it's a very, the, the rain that doesn't uh, make the floor wet, the drizzle. drizzle. It's the land of the drizzle, we call it's, it. Yeah. Garoa in Portuguese, yeah. it's the Terra da Garoa, yeah. Sao Paulo. So this- Perfect preparation for England. Yeah, and then when I, you know, when I went to Europe and it was raining all the time, you know, initially I struggled a lot in the wet. And then I was telling people, yeah, because in Brazil it doesn't rain that much. Where I come from is like a desert. And then I'm like, what do you mean? Every Brazil GP, it rains. Yeah. I'm like, no, that's just Sao Paulo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, this, yeah, 
Here in Sao Paulo, people cannot speak about the, you, uh, the British weather. Yeah. Definitely not. Now, uh, one of the fun things uh, with you joining McLaren is that you get to continue working with Lando Norris, your yep. teammate in Formula 2. Now, I know you're very tight, the two of you. Tell us something about Lando that we don't already know. Mm, that's dangerous. <laughs> is he the guy that always steals the milk from the fridge, that kind of guy? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we're always fighting for space in the fridge, actually. He has so much stuff, he puts the, 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 the person that is with him, uh, John, is, is putting so much stuff in the fridge, and then there's no space in the fridge, not even for water. We're always fighting for space in the fridge. He always wins the buff fights, but anyway. That's great, yeah. Sergio. But, but also, it's on a serious note, it's fun. It, it, it's going to be a fun thing, but also um, continuity is important in this sport. And so you and Lando continuing to work together, it's got to have some benefits. Yeah. And then also on a, on a serious note, the positive comment, uh, something people, some things I've realized this season with him is an ex extremely easygoing guy. Not only uh, while you meet him here and he's not, uh, well, he's actually on driving duties this weekend, but even, you know, he's, he's also, when he's driving and working, he can keep that, which is very difficult to do. So things flow easily and that's very welcome in a stressful environment such as F1. Plus um, this season, many moments where it looks like especially in F2 with the second race and the reverse grid, many moments where it looks like it was not going to make any points and it was a weekend where it was done, came back and, and got a good amount of points. So it's two, two things that not many people know that I've observed. So yeah, yeah making that. But what was the second one you said? Because no, I just added no, just, to the previous question. You did. You did, it, you did that very well. No, just continuity in Formula One is, is an important thing, isn't it? Whether yeah. it's who you're working with yeah. and things like that. Yeah, and, uh, and, I, and also, between teammates, uh, yeah. it's known, especially here in Brazil, uh, we, we are raised as drivers, known as you gotta destroy your teammates. That's even the word they use. Uh, that's the mentality. But obviously, uh, it's it's not well for me. Obviously, at least, it's not exactly like that. This is a has become you know with the with the passing of years, each time a more professional environment, yeah. and you are representing very big brands. And uh, there, it, it doesn't make sense, and it's unproductive to be fighting the, the person you should be working with, and then making a, a, a you know a, a job where it's um, pros. Uh, 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 what is the opposite of destructive? Um, um, positive. A positive, yeah, a positive word together instead of that destructive uh, approach where you just want to hide information and don't speak, and you both end up being slow. I was about to say your. So yeah. Your, you're, you have a, a great command of the English language until you lost that word positive. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, look, it's great to have you on board here at McLaren. It's an important step for you, and there's no Brazilian driver in Formula One at the moment, so hopefully this will help you on your way to becoming the next one. Hopefully. Thank you very much. No, pleasure. Good man. Thank you.